Taurus. Let's do an energy update. I hope you all are doing amazing. It's only the beginning of the week, but I hope that you guys are having a good week so far and that you have a good rest of your week too. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Take it resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Taurus or you are dealing with someone that does, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. Click the join button below where you can find more information about joining in the description box. I will be hosting another collective ritual on August 8th on the day of the Lionsgate portal. If you would like to join us in manifesting, there will be information about how you can in the comment section. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. All right, so Taurus, let's see. What's going on with my Taurus collective page of swords? Is somebody spying on you? 111 on the camera time. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, the Chariot, Cancer energy, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, clarify the Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, hmm, somebody's being childish, somebody could even be gossiping. Somebody could feel defeated. Hmm. Some type of tension or conflict here. Clarify the King of Cups. The Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So I do feel like either you have a water sign coming towards you or, there, or there's somebody here who has been keeping their feelings really hidden from you, okay? Um, haven't been being very expressive about how they feel, but you may be getting some type of abrupt communication from this person. Hmm. Hmm. Clarify the chariot. I keep hearing they found out what they, they found what they were looking for. So... <laughs> Somebody was trying to gain some type of clarity about something in regards to you or some type of information about you. Well, they found what they were looking for. But I feel like, I don't know why I'm drawn to on this five of swords, how this person has, a th they're holding the three swords. The three of swords is heartbreak. Whatever they have discovered or this information they've gathered has somebody in their feelings, has them feeling pretty heartbroken. Maybe, so now what? <laughs> Clarify the chariot. Yeah, somebody, maybe they can clearly see that you're doing well and you're moving forward in your life and you're successful and you're getting a lot of attention. I don't know. Clarify the here font. We have the magician. Gemini, Virgo, Aries energy. So somebody wants to, somebody's rushing in with communication to tell you that they want to move forward with you. They, they think that the two of you guys can still make something work. They want to marry you. They want to commit to you. Um, they feel like you guys are supposed to be together. They want, they're going to tell you they want to make something happen with you. We do have the sun on the back of the deck, Leo energy, the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the five of wands. Somebody regrets something here, some type of conflict or mm, holding back, holding on to the tower. It's like somebody thinks you guys can rebuild. You, they think you guys can fix this. All right, tell me more about what, why is this what Taurus needs to know this week? Why is this? So we have the five of pentacles. And the Tennessee, somebody feels like they're being abandoned or left out in the cold. See, it's something about something that they saw. Because even in this picture, this girl is looking at her phone. They've been watching your social media. There's something that they saw. That's making them feel very like insecure. I'm hearing insecure and it's making them feel like they're being abandoned or left out in the cold. Or like they're feeling like they're lacking something. What is this? Tell me more. 
the hanged man. Yeah, it's like somebody has gained a different perspective because of something that they've seen or so, so now what? Pisces energy. Yeah, the, oh, so somebody, this could even be you guys. Maybe you have obtained the information or the clarity that you were looking for. Maybe you were wanting to know if you should be done with somebody or not, or if they had changed or if there was hope for a situation. Maybe if you guys maybe feel like there is no hope with the five of pentacles. You feel like this is, it's like something has been put into perspective for you and you feel like now you can very clearly see that it's time to walk away from somebody or a situation. So what's that mean for whoever is being walked away from? The hermit. They're doing a lot of thinking, Virgo. What is, what's it mean for this person? The seven of wands, the six of pentacles, and the queen of cups. So what is, what's this mean for Taurus? The four of wands and the empress. I saw the empress when I was shuffling. This person. So what about the queen of cups though? The ten of pentacles and justice. See, something's going on that you maybe don't know about. Yeah, something's possibly going on that you're not aware of. This person could be married or they're living with somebody else or something to do with family here. They may even need to go to court. They could be dealing with a karmic. There's something that's, I don't know. What is the moon? Something about the past, six of cups and the king of, or this is them returning. What about the, why the moon though? The, something being held back or help yeah the sun the queen of swords hmm let's see here The Hermit, the Seven of Wands, and Six of Pentacles. The Moon again, Pisces. And what is being hidden? What's or the illusion? See, it's something about the past. Okay. See, the Four of Pentacles. Let's see, the same cards are coming out. Why the Queen of Swords? This person was trying to make it seem like. Before I say what I'm going to say, why the hermit? Straight to what? Withdraw. Okay, what about the hermit though? They're reevaluating things. It's like now that this person's realizing that you have enough strength now and courage to walk away from them if need be. Now they're like, okay, wait a minute. I got to rethink things now because, yeah, to a sword. It's like this person feels like they can't keep some, anything, something from you anymore or they can't keep you in an illusion anymore it's like they see that they know that you see things very clearly you see them very clearly you see the situation very clearly and you know what you want right so this person knows that like there is no more them you know you giving more than they give like either they're gonna give you an equal give and take or you're not yeah, it's like they're rethinking things. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, the Eight of Wands. And the, so they are coming in with some type of communication here. An offer, Knight of Cups. What Should they trust this offer that, to want to work on things, build something with you? But why does the moon keep coming out? I feel like this is an illusion. Something's an illusion. Ace of Wands. See, they're going to try to do something so they want you to compromise with them. But something's not right with the moon. The night, of, yeah, it's like they want to offer this stability to you or this commitment with to you when they feel like it. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night. It's like they still want to take their time with something here, but what are they? Yeah, the Three of Cups and the Devil. They could still be attached to somebody. Yeah, that they need to end things with, of course. The High Priestess and the Two of Swords. They're having a hard time listening to their intuition about like ending this situation i don't know yeah but it's like this person was trying to was trying to keep you blindfolded so that you couldn't see what was right it's like you see it very clearly now yeah what about the ace of cups the nine of you guys are like single and ready for new love 
this person's realizing that they can't keep you stuck on them anymore. They can't, they, they used to be able to hold you back or keep you stuck and keep you from moving on. It's like, they can't do it anymore. You've seen through this person's illusion. Mm. Right as I said that, guys, 1010. 10. There is a cycle, there's an era, there's a chapter that is done because this person can no longer fool you. They cannot sell you a dream and you believe it. You're requiring like something tangible. You have to see that they're, they mean what they say. You have to see that they've changed. And so what are they going to do? What It's like, yeah, this person's having a wake up call. Like, oh shit. So what are they going to do? Ooh, the devil. I don't like that. Capricorn energy, the high priestess. See, the nine of pentacles and the queen of cups. I'm telling you they have somebody that they need to let go of. I don't care, like... Could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. So what does that do to you? Yeah, the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, generally required, and the King of Wands. So you have two different masculine energies here. Possibly three. What about them? The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. Yeah. So I see two different, you guys may have a choice between two people. You you have like two different people that want you. It could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, an Aquarius, and a King of Wands, an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. So you'll have a choice. All right, before I move on from the tarot, is there anything else that they need to know from the tarot? Is there anything else that they need to know from the tarot? Queen of Pentacles. That's you guys, most likely the four swords. They're telling you to... Focus on replenishing yourself, renewing yourself, healing, resting. Um, they're also telling you to not speak to this person. Because if you see in this card, the swords are hung up on the wall. She's not holding the swords. They're hung up on the wall. So there's something about, and this has been coming through a lot. It's like the Spirit's telling you, all you need to do right now is be still. Be quiet. Because whoever this person is, yeah, the full Aquarius energy and the Page of Pentacles. Things are changing with the Wheel of Fortune, Sag and Pisces energy. In what way? Somebody is there. Somebody is changing. With the Emperor here, there's a masculine energy. One, two, three, four. It's in progress. Somebody's in the midst of going through some type of karma and some type of change. But I feel like Spear says the only way that they're going to go through this change is if you... It's like you got to stop speaking to them. Like, what is that? Because I keep... Yeah, the three of swords and the see the moon and the nine of cups. Somebody's going to be heartbroken. Yeah, somebody is definitely, I told you, somebody is heartbroken. I saw it. They're feeling defeated. I feel like they're trying to keep this from you, though, because whether you know it or not, you were everything that this person wanted in a person. They just messed. I don't know. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah, the six of swords, the queen of yeah, you're 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 moving on. Like they can't keep you stuck anymore. King of what about this King of Swords though? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person. This person thinks they're obsessing about there being competition for you. Yeah, the, this somebody's literally obsessing. This person that tries to act like they're cold and detached when they actually have a, have a lot of emotion. I see somebody rushing in with communication though. Oh shit. Unclear path wanted to show itself. Somebody is rushing it because we have the King of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Saying they want to move things forward with you. This person is is delusional because they they I don't know why they never thought that you were gonna open yourself up to the other options. Like I don't know, or like detach from them. So we have unclear path step by step. See, didn't I say this, guys? Something is occurring online. They saw something online. They, I don't know. It's something to do with online, like, activity. It keeps coming out. On looking for love online, online connection, email message, online dating, networking, searching, and spying online. I can't make it up. But it says step by step, keep going. You guys may not know what 
it's going to happen now that you're making the decision to kind of distance yourself from this person. But Spirit says that they want you to keep going because you are on the path to destinations you might not have even considered. Like it's a hidden blessing that you things aren't working out with this person right now. So I see you guys like taking a leap of faith into the unknown and opening up to new opportunities and new possibilities. And Spirit says that's exactly what you're supposed to do right now. We have manifesting. So it says... Coming in very soon, the wait is over in the works, allowing conscious thinking, dreams into reality and revelation. So, yeah, door to power. So you guys are really stepping into your power by putting your foot down with whoever this person is or, you know, you're not settling. You're not allowing yourself to be played or taken advantage of. Um, it's like you guys are just in your, you're in your Empress Emperor energy and you're manifesting because I saw it or at least you're manifesting a divine counterpart, whether it's this person getting their shit together and changing or a new person. It says your courage to stand up since you're now you're an empress or an emperor, you're manifesting an empress or an emperor into your life. It says your courage to stand up for what you believe in will bring great blessings to your life, ruling power, respect and wealth. Yeah. It's like you're demanding respect here, like from whoever this person is or even multiple people, but it says, keep doing what you're doing and your goodwill will come back to you tenfold. Generosity, windfall and trade off. Wish, yeah, you have wish fulfillment coming in. What you've asked for is coming true. Meditate on your desired outcome to assist in the manifestation, excuse me, manifestation process. Miracles, good luck, and prayers. We have sunglasses. Yeah, the eyes are set on the prize. Stalking. Who is stalking you? Watching you. Walking, watching, looking, perception, secret admirer. See, somebody is looking at you differently too. Like you may have put things into perspective, but somebody is also looking at you now differently. Focusing out cleverness, notice. Somebody's or somebody's taking notice of you. Let's see. Tell me more. We have, yeah, somebody that wants to commit to you. Commit to this next stage in your development. And there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Long term. Like, I keep getting that too. Somebody is determined to make something happen with you. It may seem like all is lost, but it says. The path you're on is about to go through a very powerful transformation, transition, transition, changing and shit. So somebody may be making some changes so that they can actually give you the commitment that you deserve. Yeah, look at this. We have hard work here. Teamwork, dedication, fertility, success, sweet indulgence, achieving the impossible. See, somebody is taking a look at themselves. Somebody's trying to work on themselves. Like when you really, you may have told this person about themselves or you just rejected them um you're walking away from them it's really making them like think like damn like i'm really that bad or like i'm really that toxic or it's like it's just something that's made you walking away from them is making them take a look in the mirror narcissist self-absorbed yeah somebody knows that they need to change because it says bad behaviors need correcting so somebody is yeah i'm telling you but it's because they're heartbroken and they're trying to hide this from you like, they're trying to hide it from you how heartbroken they are over you. It keeps coming out. I saw it. I could just tell by the page of swords and seeing the five of swords together. Pain is essential for growth. Painful ending, breakup, suffering, grieving, depression, unable to move on. This person's not going to be able to move on from you. So, really, their only option is to get their shit together and to change. Yeah. We have bullseye. It says nothing will get in the way. Focus, no distractions, set on you. Yeah, whether you know it or not, somebody is like dead set on you. Like there is nobody else that they want and they're very determined to have something with you. Now you have free will. You don't have to take this person back, but this is how they view you. All right, goals, no game, serious intentions, not giving up. Yeah, if you thought that this person was just gonna leave you alone, they're not. We have divine vision. Get out of your own way, discard your projected outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond. Positive focus, look deeper. We have cut out. Yeah, it's like, but the, the separation between you and this person was necessary for somebody to start looking deeper. Yeah, somebody was also projecting negativity and like being very pessimistic about having a future with you at some point. It's best to part ways to heal, severing ties, endings, moved on, abandonment, calling it quits. It's like they can't just say that they're going to change or that they're going to do this and they're going to do that. They have to show you that they're doing it, right? It's like, it's very clear here. Yeah, we have rebuilding. So yeah, you guys, there may be a cycle ending between you and this person, but they have the intention or will have the intention 
to start a new one with you, a different one. Reevaluate your life and adjust to thrive in your new circumstances. Yeah. Focus on what you can control. And we have protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. Security guard and vulnerable. Give me a few more cards. So we have support. We'll overcome issues at hand. Has secret help, helpful, care. So what about that? Support. We have your time is now. I feel like this is divine. The divine is stepping in. The divine's been protecting you. And they definitely are working their magic in the situation. Okay. Um, it says you're at the right place at the right time. You have to do what you're meant to do. Ready, time sensitive and act now. Act now to do what? Or maybe they feel like this person feels like they have to do take action. Not right now. The time to, is now for what? We have walking unscathed. It's almost like spirit says that they've been like not letting something happen for you until now or like in, whenever this happens, the near future. It's like something wasn't happening before you before happening for you before because it was they were trying to protect you from something. But now it's like the time is now for something. Yeah, good choices. It says expect a positive outcome. From the good choice you have made in the past. Because you're in alignment with something now. Yeah, it's like you've gotten into alignment with what it is that you truly desire. And that's why it's coming to you now. But you definitely have been being protected from somebody. With this walking unscathed and in that other car. So we have creative forces. And we have community. <clears throat> it says your creativity is endless. The creative power you hold within is far greater than you realize. Artist, inspiration, and innovative. And we have community. Good time to make new connections. The universe may send some beneficial alliances your way. Friends, so you, some of you guys are teaming up with somebody to work on like an artist, like a uh, project or something like that. Or give me one more card on creative forces and community message okay message about what next see somebody is wanting to take something to the next level with you you're gonna it says if you leave your they're gonna tell you they're ready to leave their comfort zone you will see accelerated growth and change expansion explore and grow they, they're gonna tell you they want things to grow between the two of you yeah somebody's like i'm gonna change for you i want to change for you i will make those changes because we have breaking molds break boundaries erase all identifications Anything which fixes you permanently into one mold. New way, different. Are they going to tell you that they want to do things different? Yeah, magnet. You're you're literally attracting, yeah, in the air. Something's in the air right now, but it says a blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you. Spirit says you needed to really get clear on what you wanted. Like some of you guys maybe are like, I did know what I wanted. But if you said you, that you wanted a certain type of person and you kept settling for a person that wasn't meeting that criteria, you weren't sure. So when you were like, when you got into that energy where you're like, okay, nope, they're not meeting my check. They're not checking off all my boxes. I don't care if I love them. I'm moving on. That's when you sh showed the universe you were really ready for what you were asking for. So now that you're in that energy, something is on its way to you. Yep. The truth will be revealed. Contracts, legal matters. Somebody's about to start being like, they. somebody's in fronting with you guys. I'm going to be honest. Somebody has been hiding that they, they keep they, they're trying to act like they're unbothered, but they're actually over there heartbroken. Like when you pull back and you walk away from them and you tell them you're done and that you're moving on and all those things, they are crushed by that. But they're trying to not show you that about themselves. But I feel like soon they will be coming towards you. I, I, I kept seeing the Knight of Cups, so they will be showing you some emotion. They're going to be expressing something to you because this person has not wanted to show you how heartbroken they are over the fact that you're moving on from them or that you're you're telling them that you're done or that you're dating other people but i feel like it's getting to that point where they feel they can't do it anymore so yeah i heard yeah i keep i keep picking up like maybe it's in the, they'll come towards you in the fall by the end of the fall they're not going to be able to keep this facade up much longer i'm just letting you know so this is what I have for you. Um, like I said, I will be taking this over to the, I don't know if I said it or not, actually. But I am going to take this over to the extended reading. The link will be in the description box. Or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, we're going to be do, looking at feelings, intentions, what's happening next, guidance, all that. Um, if you would like to join us in manifesting on the Lionsgate portal um, date, which is August 8th. Um, there will be information posted in the comment section about that. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the extended. Bye.